Hello there, um, and welcome to Miku Miku Dance Tutorial by Stardew Maniac. This is, yeah, I know, I kind of sound weird because I have like, allergies today. Okay, so, this is Miku Miku Dance, and we're going to load a model. Now, what model I'm going to load is my, um, I'm going to load Miku, because it's the, it's the name of the software. Okay, so now that you got Miku right here, oh, uh, what do I do? Okay, camera controls. Right click, pan, I mean, right click, change the angle. Um, pressing down the mouse wheel will pan, the mouse wheel zooms in, and your left click is, um, you know, clicking. So, if you click something like a bone and it turns red, you just hit rotate and it moves. Oh my gosh. And then you hit register, because you gotta do that. Keep that in mind. Okay, because if you do not register, when you go to the next frame and try to animate something, it won't work! So, it'll just snap back to the original position, if you never registered it. Okay, now I'm going to teach you about a special bone right here. The name of this bone is called the center bone. When you, you, since it's got a square on top, it's called the IK bone. You can move it, and it's like the mother bone of the whole body. Or you can also rotate it. Now, there's two other things that have IK bones, or three, I guess. There's a tie, sorry, excuse me. There's a tie, there's the, um, hair, there's the, um, the, what's them called? Sorry. The, uh, the sleeves, and that, yeah. So, I'm gonna select all and hit reset, and then hit register. Okay. And the red didn't just like it. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. And also, the feet have IK bones. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you that about that. I mean, I don't think I did. So. You can move the foot that way. Okay. So. If they're green, if they show up green, that means you didn't register them. So. Like, if I select that. If you hit unregistered, it selects all the bones that you haven't registered yet, and you can just register them all in one hit. It's really nice. Okay, so, now that you know how to pose them, um, I'm gonna show you how to make them blink and other fun things. Okay, so, you know, these two buttons scroll through the, um, they scroll through the eye expressions. Just like with the bones, you have to hit register. Okay, and you got different facial expressions. You know, so, so. Or if you take this off, I can show you something else funny. <laughs> okay, so, now that we got her face all set up and awesome. And, okay, there we go. So now I have all four expressions on. Okay, you don't have to use four. Sometimes people get wrong idea. Okay, so now that you've done this, I can show you how to go to the next frame. Now, um, so like, I'm just gonna use the same example we used in the official tutorial. Oh yeah, let's teach you what copy and paste. Okay, so you hit register, right? You can also hit copy. And if you hit paste, it does it again in a later frame, so it just does the same thing. But if you hit reverse, oh my gosh, it does a mirror image. So that's pretty nice. And, um, you can do that with pretty much any bone. So, except for the hair, because it's, like, irregular. Okay, so, let's say I want her arms to go up. I'm going to select all and hit register. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, like, ten frames. And I'm going to rotate her arms up. Register. Copy. Reverse. Register. Okay. Now, also... We're going to go back to here, and then, I think I want her to go back to this position, so we're going to copy, paste, reverse, register, okay, notice I hit register twice. So if we were to hit play, 0 to 30, notice what she does. Okay, so that's how you can animate and do that with any bone. Just make sure you're registered in the frame before, otherwise it'll mess up. Okay, so a good place to start is by registering all frames. So now we're going to save this as... Wow, okay, I didn't need to hit 
Okay, I clicked. Um, we're gonna save this as a face. Okay, because she looks funny. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do new models. So I'm gonna hit new. And let's say I load the model of my Utau. Sorry, I should have had like an open eye. Okay. Seriously? Here we go. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, so here's her. And here she is. She's kind of cute. Okay. So, we're gonna load Nehru. We're gonna stick her. They're like, oh no, they're on top of each other, what the heck. Okay, so you're gonna select all and move. Because the center bone is selected by default. Okay, so now they're separated. And if we want our arms to be flat, we just rotate, register, copy, reverse, register. Then we can, oh, okay, okay. Then we can go over here on Nomi. I mean, oops, uh, what? Um, narrow Akia and hit paste, register, reverse, register, and their arms will be the exact same position. So, yeah. And then you can just animate them just like you did. So, that's my first MMD tutorial, and, um, so I hope someday this helps someone. Pretty soon, I think I'll do a PMD editor, but, um, thanks to everyone who helped me with this because. I watched a lot of tutorials on YouTube. No telling how long this video is. It's probably like 10 minutes long. Sorry about that. Thank you. And uh, hope you enjoyed it.